Good morning, ladies. Um, I'm going to go over using PicMonkey. I'm just going to do a couple of simple things, um, just enough to maybe get you guys started, and then you guys can go and start exploring with it. So um, one of the things that we'll be doing is you need to mark when something sells, if you, especially if you have two or three items, which is recommended per picture, you're going to have to mark them as sold. So um, you can see right here, I've already done this, but I'm going to go through the steps just so you guys can see how it works. So um, I went into PicMonkey, which I opened it up right here, and you click on open, and that's when you get this box. Go ahead and click on the picture, double click on the picture that you want to edit. Over here are the different are the different things that you can do. So I want to do T, which is text, and adding text to a picture. For the, all the sold things, I just use Arial, add text. Two boxes come up. This is where you actually type in what you want done. And this is where you select the colors, you can bold it, italicize it, center it, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. The only thing I do here is I bold it. If this is a black picture, this is the color of the text it's going to be in. If it's black or dark, I just scroll this Dilema Bob up and I should change it to white. Okay, and you'll know for sure because this box right here tells you what color the text is. Okay, so I actually want it to be black um, because black will show up better and I like it to be bold. So I'm going to go ahead and try changing it again. <laughs> Oops, let's try that again. Add text. Okay, it's black right now. Bold. Come over here. Sold. Now, obviously my text box is huge, so I'm going to shrink it, and I like my soul to be up and down. So I'm going to squish it until it's up and down. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this corner, and I'm going to pull it to the size that I want, and then I can center it, and there you have it, sold. So then you come up here, saved. I'm going to save it to my computer. And here it brings up where do you want to save it. Okay, so the original picture was 17A. I'm going to change it to 17AA. Okay, if you already have something in there that's saved at that name, it's going to pull up here. So you just want to make sure you add an extra A. And it's going to save it as a JPEG. Okay. Hit save, and there you go. Our masterpiece is done. Um, we'll come back over here, which is where all the pictures are, my albums. This was a Gracie, and you can see right there, 17 AAA, all right? So that's the first thing. Another thing that you can do on PicMonkey is, excuse me, if you have an item and you do a close-up, let's say, of the pattern, and then you want to add that close-up onto the picture so that people aren't scrolling through pictures to see everything that pertains to that one item. So, for example, I have I already made the change, and I'm sorry, I got a little ahead of myself, but I had a Lindsay over here, and this one right here, the fabric is, um, it's a loose knit fabric and there's kind of like black flex in it. So I wanted to put this picture, the square of a close up of the fabric. So the way you do that is you're going to come over here and this time it's not going to be a text box, but you're going to do an overlay. Okay. So you're going to click on the butterfly. You have different options. You can do geometric shapes. You can do little hearts, all these little things that don't have the crown unless you upgraded your pick monkey, which I did not. You have all these different options, but I'm going to select my own. Okay, this is the overlay that I chose. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on open, and the box pops up. And obviously, you shrink it to the size that you want, and then you put it wherever you want to put it. Okay, and then you're going to click on save just like you did before. So I'm not going to save that. Um, I don't need two overlay boxes. 
um, as cute as they are, I don't really need to. If you really want to get um, fancy pants, you can come over here and you can do a geometric shape. Okay, and You can change the background of the shape. Let's say I want to do it green so that it pops. Okay, And then, okay, and let's say I want to put it right there. Okay, Now I'm going to come over here and do my own. Click on my little picture that I took and I can shrink it down and then I can put it on top of the box. And this way, it kind of has a little outline so it's not confused. Because sometimes if you put it right on top, you really can't tell what that is and it gets kind of confusing. But this, I think, makes it really clear that this is something different than the actual picture kind of makes it pop a little bit. So that's another option. Um, all right, so those are those two things that you can do with um, PicMonkey. Another thing is if you want to make your own graphics, um, let's say um, you have, I don't know, you want to make a checkout sign, okay? So I keep all of my blanks, and you can find these on Shine On, and um, I keep all my blanks in my on my computer so let's say you want to actually let's do a, a winner winner chicken dinner okay I'm gonna pick that one okay actually you know what I'm gonna pick something else let's do this one I'll tell you why here in a second all right so we have this box here and I'm going to get creative and I'm going to do, let's do an inlay here. I'm just making this up as so, though so you couldn't tell as I'm going because I'm trying to show you different things that you can do. So um, color one is the border, I'll keep it the same. Color two is the inside and I want it to be white, okay? Now I want to make some text. So I'm going to come over here and let's do, this one's kind of fancy for a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I'm going to add text. Now, I don't want the text to be black. Okay, right here, and if you've watched any of Shelly's videos, um, they have hex, she has hex numbers, and that's where you will enter the hex number. I don't know hex numbers, so I cheat. So I come over here. If you click on the color, little dropper box, little dropper thingy, whatever comes up. When you put the dropper over the color, you can see right here, this is the color of the, of the text, okay? Right here, if I click on that, my text will be that yellow color, or this orange color, or this pink, the purple, the blues, the teal, okay? If you click on it, come into your text box or your dialog box, and you go, Hello, and it's that color, okay? Um, again, you can make the dialog box smaller. You can center, um, you know, if you aren't good at eyeballing, you can make the dialog box the size of the area that you want centered, and then your hello or whatever you type in is in the middle. If you want the letters or the, the writing oops, to be bigger or smaller, <laughs> And just messed up. Oh, come on. Send to the back. All right, we'll do another one. Add text. So if you want your text to be bigger or smaller, you can crazy. I don't know. Um, you can come over here and you can move this little bar. Ah, sometimes it works. Here we go. Little letters, big letters. All right, so you can do that. Some fonts you can bold, other ones you can't. Um, so anyway, I just did that thing again. Okay, so that's that with the color fonts. Um, oh, another thing to know is right now I am in Chrome. So if you've downloaded Steelfish onto Chrome, 
um, or onto your computer, it does not show up in Chrome. So don't even bother. It'll show up, but it's like um, it's not it's not actually Steelfish. It's something else when you actually go to use it. Here, I'll show you here in a second. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear the dogs barking. They're distracting me in the background. Um, okay, so here it says Steelfish, but when you go to actually use it, it's not Steelfish. It's I think it's Times New Roman or something. Um, see, that's not Steelfish. So it doesn't work. Chrome doesn't recognize it. I know that um, Microsoft Edge does recognize Steelfish. So if you come over here and you open up your Edge, oops, pick monkey, it will show up here. show you really quick so you can see how it looks different all right so we're going to we'll just use this want this picture come over here to text and we'll go to yours Steelfish, and then add text, and let's make it yellow, and let's make it green, I like that green, Steelfish, see how it looks different, um, even though it said over here that it was Steelfish, let's see if I can show it, okay, so times right there says it's Steelfish, but it's not, okay, so you can't use Chrome if you want to do anything with Steelfish. All right, I hope that helps. Um, if it doesn't, feel free to ask me, feel free to ask your sponsor if that's not me, um, or ask a question in, um, in any of the groups that you're in, but we're all here to help you, so let me know if you need anything from me. All right, enjoy.